everyone, it's Texan here, and today's video, I'll show you how to control your computer using your iPod Touch or iPhone. So, before doing anything, find in the Apple Store, it's a free application, actually it's a trial, not trial, demo. You're going to download Mocha VNC Lite. Now, that's the free version. If you want to get the full version, get Mocha VNC, but I also have Jadu VNC. Mocha VNC is around $5.99. But Jadu VNC, trust me, it's $24.99. So that's quite a lot, so I recommend getting Mocha VNC. So, now on your computer, you're going to download Tight VNC. It's a server where the iPod will search and it'll connect with Tight VNC so that you can control your computer. So, once you uh, finish downloading and installing, let's open it up. Now, you should get a couple of settings. So, now they'll ask for a password you have to put an eight digit password so let me type that down okay one more time okay so you can change any settings you want display whatever you want click apply and then you're done now you should get an icon on uh, the taskbar now you move your cursor to it you should get your IP address now I have two so now here's the thing um, you have to write any of the IP addresses you get or even one just write the IP address down and now what you're gonna do is you are going to open up your VNC Mocha VNC on your iPod this is the icon this is light so it's not that special but if anyone's wi uh, willing to spend some money then buy the full version of VNC now go to menu okay go to connect if it's the first time you're using oh that. I'm going to edit connection, check a new one. Now, uh, configure these settings. VNC server IP address, the one you get on the taskbar over there. Just move the cursor on that V icon to get your IP address and then just type it down. But I don't need to because I already have a connection. And then server port, just leave it like that. Password, the 8 digit password you typed over there. Name is optional. If you use a Mac, just enable that. 32 bit. It takes a little slow. That's about it. So let's connect to my one. Press that huge power button and connect. It should load up your desktop. You can use landscape mode, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, you can. So to move around your desktop, just move your finger and you can just look around to move the cursor just tap anywhere on the desktop let's go to the start menu now just look the start menu will open over there there you go it's, it, but it, the response time is a little slow so let's open up google so you can do a prank with your friends with this so it's fun so you can even open up its keyboard only when you need to. Just press that. It should open up that landscape keyboard. So if I can press it properly, okay. Let's go to YouTube. You can watch YouTube videos, but I'm telling you, if you're gonna watch it on the iPod, it's way too slow. Okay. Okay, I hope I'm pressing the right one. Ah, so hard. Okay, I got it. I should open up YouTube and there we go. Okay, what was that? So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. To cancel the keyboard, just press that button on top. Now, if anyone's interested in wasting a little more money on Jadu VNC, then try it. It's awesome. It's wicked cool. Let's connect. Oh, hold on. Password. Again. So. Jada VNC pretty much has the best features, so that's why I recommend getting that. Your desktop should open. There you go. Why I like it is you can use your mouse, just do this, and you can just scroll around. By the way, you need firmware 3 also for both of them. If you go to settings, you can cha uh, change most of the settings. The colors, I recommend putting to 1000 because if you put it more, the most low it will be. And the response time here is fantastic. It's incredibly fast and um, 
no problems yet so I'll just close it and it works well the mouse it moves smoothly the keyboard it also moves well and the directional buttons and some optional tools probably for Mac also so yeah so I recommend Java VNC instead of Mocha VNC because Mocha VNC looks a little basic but uh... yeah so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you did want to subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day